Good afternoon guys, welcome to another video. It's about half two now on the penultimate day of the river season. God, it's come around very quickly, but uh, I'm out trying to make the most of it today. I'm uh, not doing very well at the moment though. This is actually the third stretch I've tried. <laughs> the reason being, the Avon is in flood. Um, it's in the fields, it is dropping, but it's, uh, it's right up and banging through. This river here that I'm at now, I actually came here yesterday morning, just for a couple of hours, and I managed one bite, which is terrible for this place. One bite, and it was a, a chub about this big, and that was it. So, this morning I thought, what shall I do? I scratched my head, got all work done, and I thought, right, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go to a tiny little stream, do a little bit of fishing. There's some nice dates in there, some nice chubs, some nice roach, roach uh, I've heard. And I got there and that was banging through, very flooded. So I went to a, a club stretch nearby. That was banging through, and flooded. <laughs> I was just like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? So I've nipped home, which is sort of on the way here, grabbed some different gear. I'm gonna give it a go here again. As you can probably hear as well, it's absolutely blowing a gale. It's, we've got 30, 40 mile an hour winds today, which is going to make things very tricky. Another reason I went to the previous, or was going to go to the previous stretch was that it's a lot more sheltered than here. Anyway, it is what it is. I've come a little way down the stretch. We're going to work our way up. There's a bit of a wooded area further up, so we'll get in there, I think, and uh, we'll be sheltered from the worst of the wind. But with the river as it is, as you can see here, and it is on the up, I should mention it's on the up because um, it rained all night last night and it was very mild. So I'm thinking some warm water's gone in here. So I'm going to have a go, see what we can do. I'm not sure we're going to do any good, but we, we'll have a go anyway. And like I say, make the most of the end of the fishing season. I've got my Dower Power Mesh pound and a quarter rod there, 12 foot, one and a half ounce quiver tip in there. My Dower GSB RLT 3000 reel. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> and I've got bread for the hook and mashed bread to go in a, a tiny little feeder. And we'll see how we get on. I've come to a stretch I'm familiar with. So I know the swims where there's a chance of a bite because this, this place at the moment is up about 1.2 meters for a tiny little river like this. Obviously that's quite high. Right, enough waffle, let's get on with it, shall we? So guys, you can tell this river's on, a, on the rise and the amount of stuff that's coming down, I think this, could well be a struggle. So much debris coming down. I don't think we're gonna get long out of a, a cast. I've come to a swim that's usually pretty good for a bite. First off, just thought we'd start with the, the more likely swims and then we'll we'll perhaps, I don't know, only give it about 10 minutes in here because it's, it's the wind is howling here. We'll go and get some, find some slightly more sheltered areas. I think it's worth worth 10 minutes in here. But like I say, there's, there's a lot of debris coming down. This, this could well be a very short session, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be too bad, debris-wise, because it's, it's going down from a recent flood where it's been up another half a metre on this. But I guess with this wind, been howling all night and all day. I'm guessing it's uh, all this stuff's just blowing into the river. Right, a two ounce feeder on there, that should hold. We'll get that in, get the handy net set up on the off chance we get a bite. <laughs> I think I'm, uh, I'm hopeful, not expectant to be honest. God, this cover tip's only just about coping. <laughs> oh dear. No, we're not gonna be able to fish in, in this flow. <laughs> There's just so much debris coming down. I'm getting wiped out within five minutes and I've got a two ounce feeder on. So we are gonna have to go and find some slacks. So guys, I've come to another run of windy swim as you can probably hear 
it's just dropped off for a second. There's a bit of a slack down here in front of us. So I'm staying sort of back here out of the way. Right at our feet, there's a bit of slack. A bit of a bottleneck and then a bit of a slack in here. So we'll just drop this in. See if there's anything doing in there. Some depth in there as well. Right, we'll give this perhaps 10 minutes, as long as we can stand. <laughs> Sat in the wind, in a bit of a facer. done a couple of swims without success what I've done is as, as the wind does seem to be easing off a little bit I've wandered up the stretch baited a few swims on the way only ones with slacks in them obviously in this in these conditions chucked any mash bread in and it wasn't a slack or almost still water with uh, wind at the bottom when it got to Stratford <laughs> But this one we've got this slack over there and it's getting a rod up in the air. I've not actually thrown any bait in here. I'm just open we can just dro drop drop this bit of bread in front of uh, a chub or two. That's my hope for this session really. We're not going to catch anything huge. But uh that's some nice fish in this in this uh, stretch. Right, I don't want to go too far. That's a, a nice crease there. Let's try that. I say we've got to get that line up out of the water. Got a one ounce feeder on there at the moment. If that won't hold, we'll put a two on. Hopefully it will. Could have gone with some super smelly ground back today, really. But I decided on bread purely because I thought, well, we, you know, we're going to be dropping the bait on the dinner table of the fish, so we're not we're not trying to pull them, you know, to pull them to the bait. Chub absolutely love bread. The good thing is as well you can feed without worrying too much. You're going to fill the fish up. All right, that was a tap, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt. All right, there we go. Fantastic. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Just had that little tap beforehand. God, the right bend in this rod as well. We don't think it's, it's a huge fish by any means. It's his, uh... Oh, it's a nice one. Certainly not going to complain about it. Catching fish of that stature from this river. God, flow. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yes, wonderful. I really was wondering whether or not we were going to get any bites today. Well, there we are. As I say, it's not going to win any uh, size competitions, but very, 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 very pleased to have had that fish. Hopefully that's a good sign as well. <laughs> well, that's great. First cast as well. Just dragging it onto that crease line on the other side of the river. Just where the fast water meets the slack water. I 
Oh, really pleased with that. Fantastic. <laughs> As I often say, knowing, knowing a stretch is, uh, is important in these conditions. If you've seen a stretch when it's at low summer levels, you, you obviously know a lot more information about swims and where it's likely to hold fish. And I always say in these conditions, you know, it's worth going to a familiar stretch, which is why I came here, to be honest. I knew it would be uh, having my head blown off, but, but I did know that knowledge would certainly help not certainly not the conditions to be uh, exploring new stretches when the river's almost over its banks which this has been and I think it will be again by tomorrow just realised I haven't run you through the gear I've got my standard running ledger rig on here, which is very adjustable, which I absolutely love for fishing these little rivers. You can adjust the effective length of the hook link really quickly and easily. If you want to see how I'll tie this up, I'll, I'll stick here a link up there. You can go and have a look. I've made a video on the uh, on the fishing tips, tackle and tactics channel, our sister channel. There's a video over there if you want to go and have a look. Also, I'm using these little Preston plug-it feeders. They're just lovely for putting bread mash in because there's not too many holes in them. Nice and small as well. I don't make big disturbance when you're uh, when you're casting in. Not that make a lot of difference today, but you know when you, when the uh, the wind's not howling and the water's not belting through, just make a lovely little plop into the river. I do use this size and a slightly smaller size as well. I'm using the bigger ones today, not that I think the fish are going to be particularly hungry, just because I think a lot of the bread mash I put in is just going to get washed away. So it just means it will stick around for a little bit longer. No, nothing else doing in there. I did think we had that, possibly had another bite, but it was a bit of a funny rally. Could have been the feeder bouncing across the bottom. I don't think it was, but it may have been. So we'll uh, get this fella back. We'll have a move. Off you go, chap. There he goes. <laughs> Fab. Well, guys, that is it. I have had enough. <laughs> I absolutely love fishing, as you'll know if you uh, follow the channel. But sometimes that love can be tested. <laughs> Today's one of those days. Oh, dear. It's The wind has eased off, but it's absolutely tanking it down now, as you can see. I've had one bite. <laughs> this river's coming up. I can't keep the bait in the water for more than certainly five minutes perhaps more like three minutes there's so much debris coming down but you know we wanted to get out being the penultimate day of the season and we have so that's that but i'll give it probably probably only about an hour and a half here but it's it's just not happening now we have one day of the season left and bearing in mind how the rivers are around here which is absolutely atrocious this is the one that was by far the most fishable and it's been pants and it's been very hot to fish so what i've decided to do is me and my friend mick are going to go to the y tomorrow hoping we had it took a little bit of a gamble on the river water warming up it has here by four degrees so i'm hoping the y's done the same we're going to get over there get after some chub and possibly some marble as well did fancy doing a bit of trotting but by all accounts it's skyrocket in the white so it's going to be feeder session but i'm looking forward to it 
and we're going to spend the last day of the season on the Y. So it's going to be a whole day session. So that'll be for the next video. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> watching get me getting soaked. Tight lines when you get out there. I hope you're having a fantastic rest of the season. I appreciate you won't see this till till the season's over. So I hope you did have a cracking rest of the season. I myself obviously will be getting on the canals and on the still waters. But we've got tomorrow to go first. Hopefully we'll have a good session then. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support. And I'll see you all again when it's a little bit drier.